If you got all that money invested in a quarterback, as the Chargers are about to find out, you're going to wind up losing a lot of other guys that are big money players. Yeah, and obviously there's restructures and, and things that could happen in the NFL. We see it all the time. But yeah, in his rookie season, they lost the wild card. He was making $4.8 million. In 2020, he made $6 million. They lost the conference championship. In the last three years, he went from 10, 16, 18 million, and they lost the divisional round every single year. So now, next year, 47.1 million. Yeah. I mean, Josh Allen has had an amazing, successful career so far. You know, uh, I mean, just to give an example, look at the success that Alex just talked about. Josh Allen been in the playoffs every year, mm -hmm. but he hasn't Great been attack. able to get, but he hasn't been able to get past Kansas City. You know, and 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 Kansas City is like, you know, the Chicago Bulls were when Michael Jordan was playing. You had great New York Knicks teams. You had great Miami Heat teams. Um, you had great Utah Jazz teams. You had all these other teams, but nobody could get by Michael Jordan. And that is Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs right now compared to Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. They just can't get by these guys in the postseason. And Josh Allen's been this successful every year of his career. And then look at now, I mean, just using the Chargers as an example, look at Justin Herbert. He's a guy that's going to also make now $50 million, and he has one playoff appearance. Mm. One. one game, yeah. And he's 0-1. And, and, and so Josh Allen and Justin Herbert are contemporaries, and Josh Allen is a Hall of Famer in comparison to Justin Herbert, even though the statistics might actually favor Herbert the postseason. They do. The traditional this, ones do. Right. But the success all favors favors Allen, but he cannot get by Kansas City. Can't do it in KC. Can't do it in Buffalo so far. 0 3. So, so, and so now, and so here comes a very good question. Since he can't get to the point where you can get over the hump, who would you rather have? Because statistically, Herbert is statistically better from the traditional quarterback sense situation. But at the end of the day, they're both not winning Super Bowls. So who would you rather try to build around? I'd rather have the guy that has so far helped me get to the playoffs every year of his career. I'll tell you this. Listen, we can we can all sit here and and talk about Josh Allen or Stephon Diggs not making catches that hit him in the in the hands. Listen, at one point during that broadcast last night, uh, Jim Nance made the point that um, that Patrick Mahomes had not been sacked in the game. And um, then they go, and and now Vaughn Miller's into the game to try and put some pressure on him. And I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot that Vaughn <laughs> Miller even plays for the Bills. And prior to that point of the broadcast, you guys tell me, I don't know if he hadn't played or if he just hadn't been made any impact of any kind. Both. But Va I don't know that Vaughn Miller had ever stepped onto the field prior to Nance saying, hey, here comes Vaughn Miller to try and put some pressure on Patrick Mahomes. He hadn't done anything the only, in it. Yeah. The only time I've heard about Von Miller this year, it's been off the field, unfortunately for him. I it, And by the way, that was engineered by the Chiefs' offense more than it was the Bills' defense. Some Sometimes the offense is just better, and the Chiefs' offense was just better than the Bills' defense. Yeah, like, but the, also the, the coaching. I mean, come on, guys. When you have the ball, When you have the ball on your end of the field, and it's fourth down in, I don't know, six, eight, whatever it is, and you decide to run a fake punt, um, wouldn't you rather put the ball in your quarterback's hands than in your punt team's hands? And it's the guy they gave it to that made it even a bigger story. You know, they, they, they snapped it to DeMar Hamlin. Yeah. Who, speaking of being on the field, wasn't on the field for most of the season. He has been now. Lately, as of late, he's, he's special teams. Right back up, but. Yeah, man, there was some questionable stuff. And it, it, it's it's a very when you talk about Josh Allen and Justin Herbert, I don't even put Justin Herbert in the conversation because you gotta show you gotta be there to, to be talked about, first of all. That's so fair. About the AFC, there's four quarterbacks in the AFC this year, not being one of them because he got hurt. But you're talking about the AFC, the powerhouse of the new the new elite quarterbacks are all in the AFC, man. You got Lamar Jackson, the MVP, you got Patrick mm -hmm. Paul, you got Josh, mm -hmm. Allen, you got Joe mm -hmm. Burrow. Mm -hmm. Then you can start talking about Trevor Lawrence. You can start talking about Justin. No, Herbert. no, no. I okay. Would you would you put CJ Stroud above Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, I probably, probably would. would. Yeah, yeah, I probably would. Okay. Yeah. Would you put CJ Stroud ahead of Justin Herbert? Um, it's difficult, but but based on, 
I'll put it this way. It's hard because of what he did this year with that team. It's hard to, to, to it's most people would be like, you're crazy to even think about it. But when you yeah. really think about it, you're like, look what he did. Well, put it this way. Season, so. Put it this way. If you're, if you, if I said to you for the next four years, who would you rather have CJ Stroud or Justin Herbert? And I'm just, I'm, I'm literally Very saying apples to apples. It's Very easy. It would be easy for me too. I take Stroud and everybody's going to hear me and go, that's because you're a charger hater. No, no, no. Listen, apples for apples. So, if Stroud is going to make $5 million a year on a rookie deal for the next four years oh, and, and Herbert's going to make $50 million a year for the next four years, I'm just saying that the difference of the salary makes it easy for me. I'd, I'd much rather roll with Stroud and take my chances and have all that extra money versus Herbert, who I know what only, I've gotten. If, if the biggest compliment a person can give to you is that you don't cost a lot of money, give me the other guy. Well, no, that's Because they got earned the money. He oh no, I don't think the, I don't think that's the compliment to Stroud. I think it's the knock to to Herbert. Give me Herbert, man. Give me Herbert. I'm sorry. Give me I'm Herbert. Sorry. Herbert surprised. has been in a dysfunctional situation since the day he got to the league. But can we just talk about reality then? Because this please this, this fantasy. I, always, I, I love to talk reality. Right, this fantasy world doesn't matter about who would you rather have. It's just like it's what it is. Justin Herbert ain't leaving a dysfunctional you know, organization. And by the way, CJ Stroud is in a dysfunctional organization. It's been documented. Has he not? Now, if that, if this year, this year, no, you got a, you got a sound head coach and you got a great offensive coordinator. Hey, yo, thumbs up. who, who, by the way, won't be there next year. If things go the way that they, I think they're going to go. So now he's going to lose an OC. Go now he's going to lose an OC. All I'm saying is that the AFC like you know, just, always like to bring it, always like to bring it back. You want to talk about the Chiefs? The Chiefs in six straight AFC championships. How many straight division titles? And then you're talking about going back to the Chargers. It's like, dude, you got to get this hiring right to even have a chance. We didn't even bring up the like you know, think what you want about Tua. He's in the AFC. There's a lot of quarterbacks. Think about the AFC side compared to the NFC side and what you got to get through to go to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Didn't mention about Rogers. How good has Josh Allen been in his career? How good, great has he been? And the conversation around Josh Allen is you can't you can't beat the guy. Yeah. You just can't. Mm -hmm. That's right.